this pearl knotting technique uses two strands of silk um, and we use two knots but the good thing about it is we don't need any tools we don't use tweezers or or an awl um, we basically just need a pair of scissors to cut the thread at the beginning and the end so um, I've used it on the so it still gives you that beautiful beautiful fluid feel so um yeah it, it's perfect it's uh, in my eyes it's so much easier and it just gives you a beautiful beautiful effect so i'll put those on one side what i've done here i've just got a few pearls that i had left over from my demonstration uh, i think there's eight on there all together i've put a knot at the end of this thread and um i'm going to just show you it'll be a very miniature bracelet but it'll just be how to start off and how to finish off um, because obviously I had the mishap with my knot in the last demo. So what we do here, what we do here first, we get the uh, piece of French wire, and we gently, gently pop that down, down the silk. In fact, a good way of doing this is just to hold your finger on it and just pull the silk very gently like that that way you get it through so we're going to leave extra at the end for this type of knotting um, because obviously we're going to go through twice so what you've got to do is take into consideration how long your necklace or bracelet is and leave some extra thread at the end no none of us like to waste it so um uh, yeah, we don't leave too much. We then need a clasp and our French wire, as I've said. At the end, we will use some hypo cement, which I've got there. So now what we're going to do, we've got the French wire on there. We're going to take one half of the clasp. And we're going to put the needle through there. Like that. And gently drop that down where the French wire is. We then go back. This is where the two, two strands come into play. We then go back through the first pearl. In fact, I'm going to just slightly move those pearls out of the way and we'll work on one at a time. So we pull that stick, um, put your finger on there and pull it like that. And you will see that that loop French wire just pop itself around there and make a lovely, lovely loop at the end to protect the silk and make your make a nice neat end to your necklace bracelet or whatever it is you're making. The next thing we do is it's an overhand knot basically so we're going to take it over there underneath bring it through this is where I, I got knotted up last time so take your time go very gently as you can see that little bit of french wire has loosened up a little bit but that doesn't matter because when we put this knot in it's all going to tighten up nicely there we are look at that so then the next thing we do is the same thing again. We do an overhand knot, pull it through, and that's your first one done. Now, I think that's one of the neatest endings that you can have on a pearl necklace or bracelet. It, it looks very smart, very professional, um, and um, easy, no, no tweezers, no awl uh, or knotting tools or anything like that, just an overhand knot. So next we're going to bring up the next pearl and we're going to put our needle through there too. There we go. Let's actually, let's put that out of the way because I'm getting caught up. So we'll do the same again finger on the little pearl very pretty color these um, the color of let me have a look the color of silk I'm using here if anyone's interested is dark rose and it's uh, a number one which is a 0.35 millimeter thick so um, it's per it's beautiful for these pearls because the two 
strands uh, work in the whole of the pearl brilliantly. So here we go, through an overhand knot, tie it, pull it tight, not too tight, and through again. <coughs> Excuse me. What I like about this too is I think the two knots and the two strands, I'm just going to carry on doing the same again, the two knots and the two strands I think make it a very, very secure type of pearl knotting because you've got double security really and you've got knots going right up to the end too. So here we go again, overhand knot, oops, tied it too tight around my finger, there we go, one knot, and two knots. Right, I'm just going to carry on with these, there's only a few here. Um, but I want you to see how quick and simple, it couldn't be more simple, for anyone who is nervous of doing pearl knotting because of the tweezers and the awl, then uh, this might be the method just for you because um, it's so pretty, so effective and very, very safe. And I'll say the word again, and it looks very, very professional because the endings are beautifully done. We've got no gaps. There's one knot and two knots. And off we go again. I won't be doing down to the last two. I've only got two more to do like this. And then I'll show you how to do the other end of the clasp and the other bit of um, French wire that we've got there. So there we go. One. Very repetitive this, and for anyone who likes repetition, it's so relaxing, and you can just sit with it on your knee, and you it'll be done before you know it. In fact, it'll be done probably for you too soon. You won't, won't want to finish it off because it's a very, very enjoyable experience. So, here we go. This is the last one of the ordinary ones. There we go, so we take that through. There we go. <clears throat> and at any time, um, just just hold the pearl. If you feel you've got too much, more, much silk or you feel that it's getting tangled up, just put your finger on that pearl and pull it, no, no, pull the thread through and it tightens up nicely. So, one knot. Two knots. There we go. What we do at the end now, there's the two knots on that one. <clears throat> what we want to do, we've got our piece of thread here where we've got the needle on one end and we've got those two final pearls at the end. So what we want to do is snip those off because we want to get those onto the side with the needle on now. So what we're going to do is thread those on without knotting them. Oops, there we go. It's being well used, this needle. It's standing up really well, but occasionally it does just get caught. Cool. There we go. So we're going to put those two there. Then we're going to do the same that we did at the beginning. We're going to pick up the French wire. There we go. Put it down on the board if, if you find that easier. Put your finger on it. Slide it down towards your pearls. There we go. Then we want the other side of the of the clasp put in on there. There we go. <coughs> now what we want to do is to get these two. I'm just going to turn it round the other way now. Uh, hopefully you'll see it. I want to get those pearls as tight up to the others as we possibly can and we're going to go through this first 
pearl again. First pearl, last pearl. But obviously in this case it's the last pearl. We're going to put those down. As I say, if you feel better, just put your finger on them and pull it through. Now we've got to be very steady because we've got our French wire here. So, if I can do this so that you can see, there's the French wire. Make sure these pearls are nice and tight up against the others. Put our finger on, tighten it up. There we go. And then what we're going to do <coughs> is, this is the bit that's different to everything else. We're going to make a loop up there and we're going to go up underneath the pearls and up through that loop in the middle of the loop. As I say, it's just like a blanket stitch, but I'm going to hold that. I'm going to do it with my right hand, but I am going to hold, put my finger on these two pearls like this and make sure that that knot is going neatly between those two pearls, which it did. There we go. And because we've done two knots in every other one, we're going to do two knots again. So we go across there again. Cut them. That's it. Cross over under the pearls, up through the centre. There we go. Swap over to my right hand. No need really to hold them at this point because they do have a knot in. So we're going to just pull that in there. Now, what do we do next? We have a, so we've got a knot everywhere or a double knot everywhere apart from between these two where we, the last one we did in the normal way and then we put these two end ones on. So what we do is we, we bend that back. Of course, these are nice and tight. So it could be a little bit fiddly. Let's have a look. We bend that back and try to get this in if I can see. There we go. So we get that through there. Oh, it's playing ball nicely for me today. Oh, she says. Don't go knotting up. Not at this stage. There we go. Go slowly because the last thing you want to do is a big long necklace and then get to that stage and um, get a knot in it. So anyway, that's it. So we do the same again. Now this is getting a little bit crinkled this. So let's hold it. We hold the loop there. We do exactly the same. We take the little needle up through the middle. Sorry if you can't see, but it's a bit delicate getting in there. And then I'm going to put my fingers on the pearls again while I pull through. And that's gone between that second and third bead there or pearl whatever it is you're using but I am going to do another knot underneath so it's the same all the way throughout come on little needle you've played you've, you've done very well get to the end of this thread and not cause me any hassle there we go so I am just going to guide it all through with my fingers on there because this is this is the problem I have sometimes. I, I'm a bit impatient and I pick it up and start everything dangling all over the place uh, and then it comes out of place. But there we are. If you take your time and enjoy the process, I think that's... Um, so there we are. That's how the original tutorial should have been. So what we do now is I'm just going to put... Slip that off there. I'll not cut this silk now until tomorrow. What I will do, I will put a little bit of hypo cement on there. A little bit on that side. Hypo cement is, is my um, glue of choice for, for this. I turn over and I'll put a little bit the other side, like that. 
and I will leave that there. Um, if you've got time, 24 hours, but overnight before cutting the thread should be fine. And then I've got a tiny little pair of, of embroidery scissors here that get into there. So there you are. Um, on this occasion, I didn't get everything knotted up. It's all worked fine. So I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you'll use it. And um, please let me see it if you, if you use it for any jewellery at all that you're making, be it pearls, beads or anything. In fact, it's probably easy with beads because you can have thicker thread and you can, you can work it however you want. You can have one or two threads then um, or one or two knots, I should say, um, in, on that occasion. But with this um, being so fine and so delicate, I do like the two, two knots. So, um, yeah, that's, that's all for today. And thank you ever so much for watching.